Good morning, my dear friends. So, I'm here where the beach was filmed. The beach, you remember that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio? Really cool movie, like so many movies of him. But, um, about the crypto world, I'm very happy I uh, balanced to 50%, although I'm not making money in this market, of course, Bitcoin going up, all's down, um, but I'm staying stable, and that's very good. Uh, and I continue to buy alts, um, and, um, and I, I plan to uh, continue to bump it up more to 60% crypto and only 40% fiat. And with fiat, I of course mean all investments other than crypto. And so that's also gold included and gold mining stocks. Actually, that's the one position that I'm still planning to build out because it all takes a lot of time, uh, but I'm preparing uh, to do that uh, with about 30% of my, of my portfolio or so, and then 10% some other investments. So I'm not investing in much besides gold and gold mining stocks when it comes to my fiat portfolio. But um, when it comes to my crypto portfolio, I do a lot of thinking and, um, and uh, yeah, um, I'm a value investor, a long time investor. I do sometimes sell something that goes up a lot or buy something that goes down a lot, but I try to buy for the long term. But you know, the biggest mistake I've made in this market is to approach it as an investor because um, I really would like to invest the way Roger Ver and some other, you can call them perma bulls, um, do. Um, and, and it's really the way to build a currency. And that is that you buy, basically, um, when you see the opportunity and you buy to the extreme. So you go basically full retard and invest almost everything you have into it. That I can't do. I'm uh, too um, much of a, um, a, a, a hedger. I want to hedge my, my bets, my risks. So that I can't do. But the second thing they do is they hold forever and they only sell not for fiat but for things they want to buy and they use that currency to do so and so so in case of roger ver he would spend bitcoin um, uh, for well every day uh, he really makes a big effort to spend the bitcoins and not spend fiat or anything else and uh, of course because he has invested almost his all his uh, capital at the time into it um, uh, that's also the only thing he can spend because he has nothing else to spend and um, uh, but he uses that everywhere like people need to accept Bitcoin or he can't do business with them um, and, uh, and, 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 and that's a great way to make people adopt your currency huh? Uh, that that's that's um, that ha that's how it works. Huh? That's how adoption happens. Um, but you won't do that if you're selling for fiat, like I uh, I have been doing. Then, well, right now, for example, I have a lot of fiat to spend. So why would I spend crypto? Um, it makes no economical sense. It's just more expensive. But by acting like that, I'm not really helping to build a certain coin huh? um, so and it's interesting that's also how you make most money uh, if you are able to do that um, well you would have been a lot more successful than the way I have approached the market since I entered Bitcoin in 2012 at ten dollars huh? um, if I would have done that of course I would have been much much richer but it's of course very easy to say, uh, but it's true. Huh? Um, uh, Roger Ver goes even so far as to barely invest any Bitcoin into competing currencies. Huh? He still has that, well, um, from that perspective, he thinks still, um, well, he has only invested a few percent of his Bitcoin uh, into other currencies. Um, so, um, 
and maybe now that has been a little bit higher actually because maybe has been sold been selling some bitcoin for bitcoin cash but i suspect it's only maybe 10 percent of his bitcoins maybe maybe 10 15 but not more i think so okay uh, i wouldn't do that i think uh, for me like switching currencies is important uh, if i see that it's let poorly uh, i think that he's he's dropping the ball there but okay i could be certainly wrong uh, i'm not the one to uh, have to say how he I, i'm the one that needs to learn from him not to tell what he needs to do because um he has done a lot better than me so um but for me um uh, that's what i'm now starting to prepare for uh, like buy certain coins that i'm not gonna sell anymore uh, for fiat eh? so i'm just gonna hold 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 and if it goes a very big position in my portfolio okay i'm gonna spend it uh, in exchange for goods services and i would also spend it in exchange for other cryptocurrencies uh, in contrast to uh, roger ver i would do that if i notice it being let poorly um but uh, for the most part, like, uh, yeah, that's what I really want to do. Uh, and I think that's a great strategy. Um, but for that, you have to also buy in strongly. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do now. That's why I want to bump up my exposure to 60% crypto uh, from the current 50 to 60 and buy some more of those coins that I believe in. Um, but at the same time, and that I also do different than Roger Ver. I also like to invest in some uh, portfolios, diversified portfolios, just in case I, I'm wrong, because some of these cryptocurrencies can fail and, uh, and, 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 and my selections could fail. Huh? But basically, I've been cutting down my selections strongly and I'm only left with Bitcoin Cash and Byteball. Huh? And Byteball has bytes and black bytes. Uh, but uh, I don't have any other personal selections anymore. Huh? I have liked very much Zcash and Monero um, uh, because of the privacy aspect. I really like that. And, and I still believe in Zcash, actually. Uh, but in Monero, I just have, uh, you can check my other videos, a lot of problems uh, with uh, what's going on there. Um, but, um, but Zcash is still actually a coin I support. But um, is it something I really want to evangelize? evangelize eh, because that's really the job uh, as an investor to buy strong and to keep and then to if it goes up in value spend it but also continuously ev evangelize it eh? like you have to have a passion for it and I can't even say I have that for Bitcoin cash I do have it for buy ball so I'm tr really trying to make an effort to buy strong there at current prices I think it's not cheap but it's also not expensive and that's already a great thing in the world of cryptocurrencies uh, because most coins in my opinion are expensive um, so um, yeah um, so that's uh, a little bit my story about uh, what I'm doing in, uh, in the cryptocurrency world and um, Thank you so much for all the reactions, all the comments you guys are posting on my videos. I love them. And um, every time when I post a video, I'm reading all those comments all day long, loving a lot of them. Even when I don't agree, I think uh, sometimes the comments are really interesting. And, um, and, and I like that very much. Some comments do anger me uh, when people are, well, the way they talk about Bitcoin Cash, that really can anger me. Um, and that's why I also support the coin even more eh, because I think there's a lot of poisonous um, and uh, negative energy in the Bitcoin community and they are all showing them and the way they act towards Bitcoin cash. I think there's a lot of bullying going on and misrepresentation. The kind of things I've seen also in the Monero community towards the Zcash community. Uh, I see in the Bitcoin community towards the Bitcoin cash community. And I really don't like that. I cannot be a part of such a community. For me, uh, I want a better world. Cryptocurrency is a way for, uh, to get there. But it won't be getting there when, when there's a bunch of bullish at the lead, at the leadership of a coin, then uh, I really can't support that. It doesn't matter if the tech is good. And for me, it also doesn't matter if it becomes financial success because you know, there are so many things that are a big success 
um, and you could be you can choose yourself to be part of something that you like stand behind and become success or something you don't stand behind and become success but if you don't really stand behind it, it's just very difficult to to continue to support it, continue to remain investment also during the hard times. And I couldn't do that for Monero and I could not do that for Bitcoin. And that's why I keep these positions extremely low. Life is very beautiful, I think. If you value what you have, you can be rich, you can be poor. But um, to be happy, you just have to really value what you have. And that's, that can be, could be very basic things like seeing or hearing huh? or smelling. Uh, it's very beautiful and I'm very happy I can do all that. Bye bye guys.